guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another video. My name is Abby. If you're new here, then welcome. Please take a seat. You will have seen by the title of today's video, we're doing something a little bit different for me. I've not done a video like this before, but I just thought we'd do it. I thought it'd be fun. So today I'm going to be reviewing the CEO of my own life planner. This is from Ella Iconic. I picked this up to get myself prepared and ready for the new year ahead. And just to give myself something exciting to look forward to for next year because I don't know about anyone else. I don't want to give myself too high hopes for next year. Like this year has just been so shocking. I don't want to be like, yeah, next year is going to be amazing because we just don't know. Like we literally just don't know. But saying that, I still need to give myself some kind of motivation to have a good positive mindset about it. So that's what I'm going to be reviewing today. I love myself a bit of stationery. I love myself a good planner, organiser. I just, it's just my thing. I always buy myself a new one for the new year. And this one is probably the best one I've ever bought in my life. So today we're going to do a bit of review. I'm going to talk you through what I think of it, what it's got inside, what's good about it, what's not. My camera is shaking. And yeah, I think, you know, we'll just have a nice chatty catch up. So if you are excited for this video and, you know, it makes you happy, <laughs> go down, hit that subscribe button, leave a cheeky little like and a comment if you feel like it, no pressure, but it's there if you want to. And yeah, let's just get cracking. First things first, this is the box that it came in. Um, it was so, so beautifully packaged. I can't, like, I can't say that enough. So obviously I've like ripped the tissue paper and stuff here, you'll see. I really tried to open it carefully, but I was just so excited, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So you, there's your receipt, and then you've got these two little cards in here. One of them is just a 10% off kind of voucher for next time you shop. And that is the, so it's from Ella Iconic, I think I've mentioned that. That's the logo and the business card there. And then there was this really nice thing that says, a very special note just for you. And then they wrote personally on it, thank you, Abby, hope you love the planner. Which I thought was just a really nice touch because... I've really been trying to order a lot of things or more things from small businesses lately. I think we've all been trying to do the same. So it just makes it feel so much more like personalised and like it means a lot more when there's a little something like that in it. Like it probably took about three seconds, but it means a lot to the customer. So I really appreciated that. Those were a nice little touch. Then moving on into the box here. So there's a nice sticker here that says, for your beautiful plans, stunning. And then all the packaging has got the branding on it as well, the Ella Iconic stationery and lifestyle things. And then when you open this bit up, can you see already? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So when you open it up, you get a box inside the packaging. And on the front looks like this I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it but you can see it shining already oh my gosh stunning so it says CEO of my own life planner and then it's got the Ella iconic logo there can you see that I mean points for packaging are like 20s out of 10s like oh I've got my makeup on it balls it's just so bougie do you know what I mean like how bougie and expensive does this look Oh my gosh, I will go into the pricing and stuff in a little bit for you. Um, so just hang on, I just want to show you it first. So when you open the box up, you get another load of the branded tissue paper. And then when you open this one up, as I said already, I have opened it, so it's a bit ripped. There is the planner inside. So all the black like, box that comes in and stuff matches the planner inside, which I thought was really, really nice. Oh. <sighs> you guys you're not ready you are not ready so when you take this out firstly look how big it is bloody huge and then you get to like keep the box to keep it safe and stuff like oh I'm a huge fan of just oh I'm losing my words because I'm so obsessed with this so this is the planner I it's just stunning I don't think I need to tell you how stunning it is so I will show you the front you can see it's got the kind of gold shininess on it as well and then this is the back it's all just follows through the same kind of pattern and texture it's really I really really like that it's got the nice kind of like hardware bits on it it just makes it feel like like it's the worst thing when your books get like dog-eared on the corners do you know what I mean so it's so nice to have that touch that like you know it's gonna last well for the whole year do you know what I mean 
And then you also have one of the kind of straps here that can go all the way around the front, which, oh, such a nice touch. Love, love that. So let's chat quickly about the products itself, how much I paid, all that jazz. And then we will go into a more detailed look inside the planner. So if you just want to see that, then feel free to skip ahead. Otherwise, let's have a quick chat about the ordering process and things like that. So I'm going to be perfectly honest. This was expensive. It's more than I have ever paid for a planner in my life. And it's probably, I don't know, like I'm still trying to justify in my head how much I spent for it. Like I might say it and you'll be like, that's not a lot of money. But I don't know, to me, I've never paid more than like £10 for a planner. And I've managed to get really, really nice ones. But this, this was essentially five times that amount. <laughs> so this planner, if you pay for it full price from the website, it is £46 which I think is a lot of money, just as a price point itself. For this planner, personally, I paid £36. And that is because I paid for an imperfect version of the product. So I was, because of the price point, and because I've never paid this much for a planner before in my life, I was like, can I justify that much on a planner, on an organiser? I don't know, can I? I was umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, and then I was like, no, do you know what? I really, really do like them, and I think it's worth it to kind of spend that money on yourself, essentially. So I had a look on the website again, and this one, the one that I actually really liked most out of all of them, was out of stock, and I was so, so gutted. I was so, so, so gutted that it was out of stock. I messaged the company on Instagram, and I said, hi, are you restocking the polka dot planners? And they replied really quickly, actually. Um, and they were like, oh, I'm really sorry, we're not restocking them. However, there will be a small amount of them in like an imperfect version going up on the website soon. So I was like, fab, I'll keep an eye out. And they went up and I bought them. So the point of the imperfect one is they're supposed to be like not quite up to quality in some way. So they take essentially a tenner off the price. Still a lot of money, but when I received the product, I was like, I would have paid full price for this. Like, it's so detailed, it's so pretty, it's such good quality that I can 100% see why you would pay that much money for it. The imperfections themselves, when I was looking on the website, it said that they will either, they might have like damage to the foiling or like the cover, or there might be ink smudges or just like things like that that just don't kind of bring it up to quality. I I have been having a look through this book and maybe I'm missing it or maybe it's just like, no, I don't know, not there, but I can't see anything wrong with the planner. I genuinely can't. So I don't know. The only thing I maybe thought might have made it imperfect is, I don't know if you can see, where these kind of joins are here, there's like some denting and like a little bit of kind of creasing where these, I don't even know if you can see it on camera. They're so minute, but I still would have paid full price for that. Do you know what I mean? So it just made me think if those are the kind of things that they would say that's not up to quality, like the brand itself must have such good values about the quality of the products and stuff and it shows it really really does that's what i paid for it. i paid 36 pounds plus shipping it was 40 pounds it arrived so so quickly within literally i ordered it the next day it said it had dispatched and then it arrived one to two days later so it was so 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 quick especially in the kind of current state of delivery services and things like that where everything is being ordered online and a lot of places are backed up and things like that for it to have arrived so quickly, I was really, really, really impressed with. Um, I didn't pay for any kind of like special shipping or anything like that. I was like, when it arrives, it arrives. So definitely, definitely a good positive there. So having said that, let's change camera angles and take a really good look inside this stunning piece of stationery. Okay, so as you've seen already, this is the front cover of the planner. It's stunning, it's beautiful. I'm really, really excited to show you a little bit of a look inside. When you first open it up, you've got your nice cover here. You've got a little pouch, which you probably wouldn't be able to fit too much in, but you have got a little kind of classic slip there to slot any receipts or any photos or anything you want to keep in there and there. This is your nice front cover. So this says 
the title of the planner, you've got the dates, you can write your name and then just your contact information. So heaven forbid you lost it or left it anywhere. Hopefully someone kind would be nice enough to bring it back to you. <laughs> As you can see, you've got all the nice tabs of the months down here, so you can easily access any month you need to. The next page kind of gives you a little letter from the owner and the designer, kind of a nice welcome letter, which is a really nice touch. And then you've just got a little page on how to use the planner itself. So it explains how each of the sections work, what they're kind of meant to be utilised for. So you can really kind of make the most of all the things it has to offer. So this is kind of where you really get into it. So you plan you've got this page which is your almost the very beginning of the planner so you can plan like a word for the year things that you're excited for the year things about last year that you're reflecting on that you know you might want to pay a bit more attention to this year i just think it's a really nice touch and a really nice way to just start thinking about what you want for the year ahead next you've got your calendar view of the over like an overview of the year here and holidays here so this is really nice it doesn't just do the uk holidays it does american holidays and all these other places as well and you've also got a note section here which you can use to i mean for anything really things you might want to do on the holidays or things birthdays anniversaries anything you want to write down here there's just a nice little section for you to do that next you have kind of key dates so you can put your birthdays and anniversaries and stuff in here they've got a nice blank space for you with january to december and then a classic contacts page as well, which is always very useful, I think. This is where it gets good, guys. So you've got a page here where you can imagine your future. So this is essentially a vision board in a planner form. You've just got this blank space where you can write anything down, draw anything you want to, really kind of thinking about what you want to achieve in the year ahead. I think that's a really, really nice idea. You know how much I love a vision board, guys. We know this already. Moving on to this page, this is your big master plan. So you've got your master goals and your action plan. So what you want to achieve and how you're going to do it. What you will find throughout this planet is it follows these four key categories, kind of sections or themes throughout the entire planner. So you've got business and career, home and family, health and fitness and personal. I really like how they've done this. You can kind of section off each aspect of your life, your business life and your health life and your personal life and just really really kind of get down to what you want to achieve from them and also not kind of merge them together accidentally and find yourself completely burnt out you can really take time to plan out self-care and time for yourself if you've got a lot going on in your business career so next we have this overview of a progress tracker so this is your category down here what the item is itself and then you've got all the months so you can kind of keep track of if you've achieved it that month or not i think that's really nice and you've got so much space to do it in so this is your year at a glance you've got a nice blank calendar again where you can kind of write down anything important that you yourself want to write down just for you so it doesn't have to be birthdays and anniversaries this can just be like your personal year at a glance and you've got this nice blank space here to kind of make any notes or things that you want to go into more detail with or stick anything in or anything at all really they have so many spaces for you to just brain dump in this planner that i just think is so good we all need a good brain dump sometimes this page is really nice so you've got this adventure page um which you can just kind of go into more detail about your holidays and things you want to do things to take things to do before you leave a nice blank space this map you could even like circle all the places you're going to travel in the year or where you want to go i just think it's such a nice touch this page i love i know i say this about all of them but this one is such a nice idea so this is about books to read you've got your classic dotted page over here just for any notes and a nice quote up here I do not read half as much as I wish I did. I used to be such a bookworm and now I just don't have as much time for it, which is such a shame. But what can you do? So you can write down the books and the authors here and then you can tick off when you've done it. Like, oh, let's hope I can actually fill some of this out because I really, really, really want to read more. So this is kind of the start of where you really get into planning your year. You've got this kind of new beginnings page here and another blank space for you to write anything down just before you really get into it, because why not? And then this is your first quarter plan. So the I don't know if this is like an American thing, but they've split up the year into quarters. So this is January to March, your first kind of three months. And it just means you can kind of refine down even further all the plans you've been making for the year. So it can be quite overwhelming. You don't need to kind of think for the entire year. You can just kind of start planning each month by month. So you've got your four categories again here, kind of keep them separate and make notes for each one. And then you've got a monthly action plan where you can make, again, more notes for each month individually, which I think is a really good idea. And then this is your master plan for January. So from here on outwards, it will go month by month. 
until you get to your second quarter. You'll have another quarterly page, just like the page before. And it will just it just follows on through like that. So you've got your four categories again here, some notes, some memories to cherish from the month, which I think is really nice, and things you have learned. So you can kind of keep coming back to this page throughout the month and just kind of reflecting on what you've done already, what needs to be done, what you can keep working on and things like that, which I think is really nice. And then extra page for you to follow on with your plans from there. There's an overview of the calendar here, which I think is really nice. You've got all the dates already written in for important dates. You've got New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So it doesn't just do, as I said, the UK days. You've got kind of more days sprinkled throughout and you can make notes on this as you please. Imagine this with a load of highlighted colours on it. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so this page is going to be super, super useful for me. This is your financials page. I love a budget planner. I usually have a separate budget planner, but this is going to be so useful to have all in the same place. You can write down your outgoings, your income and everything that you're spending. And you've got an extra page over here where you could, you know, overflow because I'm not sure this is going to be quite enough for me to do one month's spending. But you could also do some old school, you know, maths equations why not you've got the dotted paper there break free treat yourself so yeah I think this is going to be super super useful and I just love that it's added in there as its own little thing I really like that so following on from the progress tracker earlier you each month you get a habits tracker as well this I think is such a good idea I love this so it's split into themes um, and then you've got across the entire month so looking back at this at the end of the month it's going to look so good to see what you've achieved and how often you've done things and it's just going to be so cool. So, I mean, you could split it into different kind of sections. For me, maybe I do like an exercise theme um, and maybe I'd put yoga, dog walking and workouts. And then you can just kind of track how many days of the month you've done it. You could do a self-care theme, how many days you've done a no phone day or a face mask or meditation and track how many days you've done that. I just think it's such a good way to track how how you're getting on with life because you know it can be overwhelming so <laughs> this is such a lovely touch here we get right into the nitty-gritty so this is your master to-do list for the week so you're really kind of just going from your yearly plans your monthly plans to your weekly plans you're refining down and kind of getting things down to the very pinpoint of what you need to do it's done in such a clever way and it's done so well it just makes you feel organized even looking at it i haven't even written anything in it and i feel like i've got my life together do you know what i mean so <laughs> this is your weekly plan it's split again into the four categories business health personal and then going across you've got each day so each day you could do a thing for each of these categories so for each day of the year you will have a page that looks a little bit like this so this is the first of january good place to start and you'll just be able to plan and prioritize every single day just in this way so at the top you've got a mantra for the day which I haven't noticed in here before actually it's a really nice touch to kind of you know how am I going to be positive today what am I going to keep reminding myself you've got your top priorities and then down the side you've got your goals and things to do each in those same categories so you can you know put a little something in each of those each day which is nice and then you've got your schedule over here it goes from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. in hourly slots and you can really just kind of sit down and think, what am I doing today? When am I doing it? What free time do I have? Where can I be more efficient and more productive? For me, it's such a helpful tool to have and I think this is going to come in so, so useful. At the bottom here, you have a today I am thankful for section where you can, it's like, it's only small, but you can write down just a little something you're grateful for that day. I personally have never been able to kind of continue and follow through consistently with a gratitude journal. I have tried it before in the past, but it's a lot of it's a lot of work for me to kind of keep up with. But I think this might be just a better way to integrate it into my everyday life if it's already there when I'm planning out my day for the following day. The planner will follow along just like that. Um, this is your weekend page. The only thing that I will say with this planner is you do have one page for the entire weekend. That's not so much of an issue for me because I tend to keep my weekends pretty chill, pretty casual, and it tends to be for fun and going out and doing things unless I'm working. Um, but I know for some people they do, they would like to have individual pages for their weekends. I think if I'm correct, some of the books on Ella Iconic's website do have them like this but I can't guarantee it for sure I can't remember and you would just have to look into it a bit more the only thing it's kind of missing is the hourly schedule um so you can still write down everything you need to do for the day within these categories and if you wanted to schedule it yourself you could do that it's just you've got a little bit less room 
to do it on is the only thing so the book will follow on like that as i've said this is the next week's master to do list and notes and then as i say you've got each page that looks pretty similar to the next going through your monthly plans etc at the end of the month you will tend to have a nice little page that looks something similar to this they're all pretty different but it's just a page where you can kind of brain dump or think about something individually or i don't know like you know sometimes you just want like a little a little place to unlock unlock your dreams <laughs> so this is just a place where i think you can just write down some things that you want in life or you know that you're looking forward to or you want to make changes with i think that's a really nice touch um let's look at the end of february's and see what so this one has a nice one that says let it go so releasing things and letting go of negativity and things like that i think that's a really nice touch so each month has a different kind of page similar to something like that you can just kind of reflect and write things down in that way i i really like that it's just a little bit of a change for the end of the month makes it not look all the same the next thing i will show you at the end of march as i've explained already you will get your second quarter plan so this is exactly the same as the first quarter but it's the second quarter this one runs from april to june you've got your categories your monthly action plan and a blank page there so you can kind of reflect from the last few months and plan what you've achieved for those last few months what you want to keep achieving what you need to improve on and just kind of follow it through and add on some more for the next few months so it's not too overwhelming you don't have to look at the whole entire year in one go and be like oh my gosh i've got 12 months to do x y z you can really kind of get down into it and just refine the finer details i think it's just such a nice way to do things the only other thing i want to show you is at the very end of the book as you come to the end of the book the very last page is a 2021 review and it's only one page so it's not too overwhelming and you don't have to sit there for an entire day going through everything that happened in the past year it's just a small kind of touch to reflect on your year and then move on to the next um which i really like so you've got a section here for the year's highlights the lessons you've learned things you're grateful for and things you should remember for 2022 so it's not overwhelming as i said it's quite subtle you don't ha i mean you don't have to do it you don't have to do any of the things in here you can literally just use it to write down where you need to be and when but i think these little touches make such a difference in your mindset and the way that you look at things i personally don't like getting in too deep to all of the stuff from the past year like you've already lived it you know what's going on do you know what i mean so this is just like a really nice way to kind of reflect on the good things and things that you can look forward to to the next year that is the final page in the book and then you've just got the end page like that so that is it i will apologize now i know i've been talking for like 10 minutes my hands are purple because i used purple shampoo last night i'm not i'm not dying okay just putting that out there um <laughs> probably should have mentioned that at the start but oh well this is the planner. We've seen the cover already. I hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of a deeper look into what's going on inside. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention as well is how good quality the paper inside is. Um, I obviously, I haven't written on it yet because I've been holding off to film this video, but the paper is really nice. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. I, I personally like the paper inside. I think it will be quite nice and bouncy to write on. If you get some good pens, I think it'll be really, really nice. So yeah that's my little side note <laughs> as you will have seen inside this stunning little planner here i think you can all see why i'm so obsessed with it i hope you guys are obsessed with it too it's incredible i would thoroughly 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 recommend this brand um it's been very very hard to hold off writing in this already so that i could film this video <laughs> i was like i don't want to write in it before i film it but I also like to get really organised for the new year. It's so hard not to write in it. So I'm I'm going to get on that now. I'm going to get highlighters, stickers, different coloured pens, the whole shebang. I am so ready for it. So having said that, if you are, you know, planning for your new year and you want a new planner, I would definitely go and check out their website. This, it has not been an ad at all in any way, shape or form. I just really, really, really liked it. And I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. Um, because I've seen people do reviews of planners and stuff before and I thought oh my gosh that's so useful because you can't always get a full kind of depiction before you order something online for the picture so I was like you know what sod it <laughs> let's do one myself um if you have any other questions or anything don't hesitate to ask in the comments below but if you want to get yourself ready for the new year with a planner definitely go and check out the website I will leave the link to the website down below 
I don't think they will have this exact one in stock anymore unless they have any of the imperfect ones left but I think it was quite a small amount and I literally got in there like as they went up because I really wanted this one. Saying that they have so many different kind of styles they've got like leather bound ones without the binder like the ring binder just the regular kind of hardback leather ones like that they've got undated versions on there they've got weekly versions this is a daily version isn't it yeah this is the daily edition they sell on through the website or you can i've seen them on etsy as well as not on the high street as well so they do sell to a kind of a number of different places so it's worth having a look around some places might have ones in stock some might not um and they might be releasing i don't know maybe like a whole new stock for the new year when we go into the new year i don't fully know how it works i just i'm obsessed with it so thank you so so much for watching i'm going to round up this video here if you did enjoy this video or you want to see more videos like this then please do hit that subscribe button down below let me know in the comments what you want to see from me coming up in the new year i think we're going to hit it with a bang we're going to get cracking with some brand new exciting vids so leave a like leave a comment subscribe it's so good to be back chatting to you all. i've missed you all so much so thank you if you tuned in and you made it to the end I appreciate you very, very much so. Have a fabulous rest of your day, whatever you may be doing. Make sure to stay safe and wear your mask. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be saying that for a very, very long time to come. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.